this video is about uh, the 3.3 volt converter. So recently, uh, MD Fly switched from this type of 3.3 volt logic converter to this type. So as you can see, this type is a tiny bit longer, and they use the tiny little uh, a different chipset. So this is the new one. This is the old one. On the back, it says MD Fly, and on the back of this new one that they stock, uh, you have something like this. So in this uh, quick little tutorial, I'll be showing how to use one of these 3.3 uh, logic converters instead of one of these. Uh, basically, it's it works pretty much the same way as this one, only uh, you need to uh, kind of hack uh, some wires onto this in order to get it to work. So you can no longer just take this and place it right on the, the power module because A, it's too wide, and B, the pinout is a little bit changed. So let me show you what to do, how to get this uh, newer MD Fly logic converter to work with the Thomas uh, LED kit and the Gaiman uh, LED kit. So the 256 Thomas LED matrix, this one, and the 256 LED uh, Gaiman uh, matrix with Bluetooth. So let's start. So before you were able to use the four uh, headers or the four pin headers to connect these two boards together like this. So you'd have uh, the VCC here, VCC uh, A here, and VCC B here, and you'd basically plop it on like that with headers in between. So now what you need to do is instead of just uh, connecting the wire, like taking a header, bending it, and making it fit like that, what you need to do is flip this board over and basically just connect these these uh, wire together, these pins together with some wire. So you need to connect the top one here with the top one there, and then the second one with the second one, etc, etc, until they have all eight wires connected. So I'll uh, freeze this, and I'll upload a little uh, diagram. So using that diagram, we're basically just going to connect the uh, wires from this to this, and then from this to this. So it shouldn't take that long, but let me show you how it's done. So you'll need uh, eight wires, uh, about an inch in length, maybe a little bit longer. It doesn't length doesn't matter that much as long as you could strip a section and uh, wire it into place. So I'm actually not going to solder to this board. I have another board here. Okay, so this uh, power board is actually connected to an LED matrix over there. I'm going to solder the converter to this board here. So what you need to do is you need to strip about a uh, quarter to an eighth of inch insulation off of both ends of these wires, these eight wires. So now that these wires are stripped, we're going to go ahead and tin uh, both sides of each wire. Alright, so now we're just going to set these wires aside for a couple of moments. And we're going to go ahead and tin these pads and these pads here. Okay, so that's these pads tinned. I'm going to go ahead and tin these pads too. Alright, and now we're just going to go ahead and solder each one of these wires to each one of these pads. It helps to trim off a tiny bit of the wire here, so you have about an eighth inch of uh, wire exposed. So now that we've soldered the wires to this board here, we're going to flip it over and make sure it's properly aligned. So basically what you want to do is take this board, flip it over, and solder it like that. So um, uh, if you look at this board, there's a VCC, which is uh, positive voltage. My camera can focus. So a VCC and a ground. So if you were to, say, mount it like this, you'd be flipping the ground in the, in the positive voltage in the VCC, which would probably burn out this chip. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm pretty sure it would burn out this chip. So what you want to do is basically take the board like this and flip it over like that. 
so that you see this uh, writing here, which is M M B B A N right here is this way. So the M is here and the N is there. And we have the A, the up to 3.3 volt here, and we have the up to 5.5 volt here. So make sure that this is aligned properly, because if it's not, you're gonna burn out this board and you're probably gonna have to buy another one. So you probably wanna avoid doing that. So essentially, you wanna take this top pin here, connect it to the top pin there, and then this bottom pin here to the bottom pin there, and then this pin here to that pin there, and this pin to that pin. And the same thing on this side, this pin to that pin, this pin to that one, the third one to the third one, and the bottom one to the bottom one. And basically that's really all you have to do to get this board to work. So let me just show you how I'm going to solder it. Alright, so that's one side soldered. I'm going to go ahead and solder the other side. Okay, that's it. That's all eight wires soldered. And you could probably just take this board and just glue it down here so it's, you know, kind of out of the way. And let me show you that it does indeed work. So here we have our phone. We're going to start up Senna. We're going to go ahead and quickly connect. Okay. And we're connected. Let me just type something. Something like, hello. So here we have hello here on the phone. Come on, focus. So we have hello here. I'm gonna press enter, and we have that message. And here we go. Everything works as planned. So again, you could use the same uh, steps to on the uh, Guy Man 256 LED matrix with the modified board that uh, MD Fly now supplies. Uh, yeah, I hope you, you have you have found that tutorial useful and yeah, I apologize uh, I didn't realize they would uh, switch the board, you know in a year or two, but they did so this is the way to get it up and running again So that's it. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye